It's time to bring back fun to motorcycles and fun to South Dakota. We can do it here as good as anybody's done it. We proved that. For you custom guys, next year, I want a bunch of us to step up, take Royal Enfields, trick them out, and then bring them back here for the show. So if you think you've got what it takes, get with me after this show sometime or anytime in the next six months, and maybe this winter you'll be cutting up a Royal Enfield because I've got a plan. It's maybe weird, but I got a plan. And so that said, this is the first ever Shineworks Showdown. So just like the first ever Harley Night started, we hope you keep this trophy. We hope you help us build this thing. And thank you for being the Mavericks. In your gift box, bag, whatever you want to call it, there was a little receipt there that you could come over and pick out a shirt off that table. If you have not done that, you want to run over there right now and pick out your shirt. Because for everybody who had a bike in this show, I'm not going to ask you a question. I'm not going to make you show the card again. Come over there and get another shirt. That's how much I give a damn about what you're doing and the fact that you brought enough gumption, enough credibility out here to make this thing happen in 100 degree weather on a Saturday. So give yourselves a nice round of applause for just being the Mavericks that are kicking this Sufu Moto Fest into high gear, all right? You gotta clap, otherwise this doesn't work. Thank you. All right. This show is a little different than most because we've got kind of different awards, kind of different classes because what happens is people get pissed off at bike shows and I don't want people to get pissed off at bike shows. I want you to engage at bike shows because suddenly you get to talk to this guy, you get to talk to this guy. I get to learn that this guy rode his Grom from Brookings, South Dakota at 55 miles an hour on Highway 77. That's fun. Give him a round of applause just for that. Like, I didn't ride a Grom here from Mitchell. I maybe should have. So for us, it's fun. The nice thing is we've got Speed Kings, which is all the way from California, a bunch of badass parts, a bunch of badass bikes, and they know how to put on a show, and so tomorrow it's going to be another great show. Try to get some of my sandwich? Yeah, I smelled it. I'm downwind over there. Want to buy my sandwich? Want to buy my sandwich? Mm -hmm. uh. trouble when he's a teenager. Oh, that's that, what right? Jeff said. He goes, your girls killed you because of their attitudes. Mm -hmm. He goes, he is going to cost you money. Right. Uh -huh. He's like, Daddy, we got to put some tires on my Chevy. It's sitting on the ground. <laughs> I'm like, no, I know. I know. But it was only, I mean, at first he didn't care. Yeah. But now that it's his. He's like, Daddy, you need to put some tires on we my Chevy. We need to start fixing like, this baby up for you, Dad. Years old. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's do it. So the first award is called Did It Done. And that means you built the bike, you, you might have done it in your garage, it might be your first bike, it might be your third bike, it might be your 15th bike, but you did it. You and some friends got together, you built this bike, and the winner of that class is number 11, Kara Benson. Kara Benson. Right on, so did it done goes to a lady, Kara Benson, right off the bat. Give her a nice round of applause. So to make this a little different, and I know it's hot out here, but you gotta tell me, Kara, did you really build that bike? We really built that bike. Okay, tell me about it. What is it? <laughs> An 85 Sportster. Um, bought it nearly stock. Chopped it in half. Did a bunch of body yes. work. Painted it up. Yeah, not just painted it up. You painted the frame, put a Springer front end on it. It's impressive. Thank you. Great job. Thanks for bringing it out here. We appreciate you being here, and we appreciate the hard work that went into that. Thank it's you. awesome. Next class is custom creation. This is just anything goes. And what we did was we asked our panel of judges to just pick something that made their heart beat. We just said, okay, whatever it is, if it makes you giggle, it makes us giggle. That's all that matters, right? Because every one of these bikes from one end to the other is custom. You have not, not changed something to make it yours, okay? That award goes to number eight. Okay, and he is not here, okay? So we will take a picture with Larry. Somebody want to stand in as Larry and be, you know, stand by his bike and take a picture and we'll send it to him, well, that'd be great. But the next class is Modern Muscle. There's so much stuff going on with Hot Rod Dynas, Hot Rod FXRs, Hot Rod Soft Tails, and, and of course the performance bagger thing is crazy. The Modern Muscle Award goes to a guy who I actually happen to know. It's Rob Anglin, number 42. Um, Rob, are you here somewhere still? You gotta come out of the shade, Rob. We gotta talk to you. And Rob's bike is this bagger right here with the red windshield on it. And I happen to know that that thing's over 200 horse. He drag races it on the regular. I was out at the Baker drivetrain drags in Sturgis and was out there playing around with some friends of mine and we were trying to be faster than Rob and we weren't faster than Rob. Rob finished top five out there and kicked some ass. Rob's on this weird weight loss program to try to be the fastest pilot in the world. 
No, it's actually called cancer. He's on his second round. Um, he is a survivor. He's a fighter. Give him a nice round of applause. This is the consummate South Dakota motorcycle guy. Rob and his son, Rob, own a and &A Cycle up in uh, Watertown, South Dakota, which is the home of Glacial Lakes, Harley. Tell me what that bike is. First of all, it's a 2019 Electroglide standard. The plan was it was going to replace my 1992 Electroglide that has currently 199,000 miles on it. <laughs> you got to ride that one more thousand. Get rid of um, it's actually it's my old 92. Uh, it's still got the original motor in it, um, transmission. Believe it or not, the original belt. And this was going to happen here. And this was going to be the replacement that I was going to leave bone stock and ride and try to get 200,000 miles out of it. Well, you know how that goes. The bagger craze started kicking on with some help from some great people in the industry. It's kind of evolved to what it is. I'm kind of the mad scientist behind this. I had the ideas and things like that, but there's absolutely no way possible that that bike could be here today without my son. And we've had a lot of fun with it, done a lot of things. There are so many trick parts from throughout the industry, if you see something or got any questions, feel free to come by. But you know, this performance bagger craze is the kick, and I had a couple goals and met it, exceeded them, most of them. Uh, we still got some more things to do, and look forward to go faster soon. What we'll do in a quarter mile? It hasn't made a real hard pass yet in a quarter mile. Last year it was. A uh, really good combination, and of course, I was too stupid to leave it alone. So over the winter, I changed completely everything. Currently, it's gone 1020 at 137 and a quarter mile. I have yet to make a full pass on it, and I have not run it on the nitrous at the track yet. It, it's a handful, and uh, I'm I'm still trying to get a handle on driving it. The only problem is, is the person behind the handlebars right now. That's awesome. We hope you get your goal and get in the nines and, and uh, be able to play with that nitrous. Thank you very, very much. Congratulations. The important, um, and what we meant by that was import. And so we've got a Royal Enfield here. We've got a Yamaha here. We've got a Suzuki Yamaha kind of crazy mashup down there here. We've got this beautiful sport bike here. And we've got this Grom here. And I think it takes a lot just to ride into the Harley dealership and go, you know, this is what I ride. Okay? Because... A lot of people are, aren't willing to do that, and yet I'm the guy who has 16 Hondas, and I've got a BMW, and I've got this, and I've got that, because I just like motorcycles, and I love that people love motorcycles. This was one of the toughest classes we had, and it went to number 12, Yang, what's the last name? Fuller? All right. It's you. If you're going to be at a, a show, you got to get some stories, and this is a story. So I saw Grumman, the number 46 over here. And I was telling him I love, I love this Target basket on here. It just, I don't know, it makes it special for me. Maybe it's because my wife's addicted to Target. But you were telling me some of the, you got some performance stuff on this. Yes. Tell me what you did. Okay. I, so this pipe is different, right? The zoom loop the exhaust. It makes it louder so I can be seen on the road. That way people don't cut in front of me. Okay. It's great for safety feature. It also looks awesome. And I got- uh, Did you change the intake? The, it's got a Chimera intake along with it. Chimera intake, I sent my ETU to Florida, a place called DHM, DH Motoring. They put a stage one tune on it. No way. <laughs> I didn't even know you could do that. So you send your ECU to Florida. Yes. They do a stage one tune on it, okay? And this thing goes along the road pretty good. Yeah, it rips. And, and where are you from? I'm from Brookings. You literally just told me you rode this up Yeah, here. I rode this here, yes. So you took some two-lane roads and just came to yes. Steinworks Showdown? C County Road 77, and then you have to... Okay, so if you see a little Bruce Street going by you on County Road 77, it's my buddy Gromman here, okay? Just just move over. Get out of the way. He's coming. That is awesome. What else What else have you done to this that you love? From the Target basket. Uh, oh, yeah, this is a must. It's a cheeky seat cover with the extra padding. If yeah. you're going to go out on a long ride, this is very So comfy. how did you get a Recaro cover? Oh, this is made by a company in Pennsylvania, a small, you know, US, made yeah. in the USA, cheeky seat covers. They make, <laughs> they make seat covers for metropolitan scooters, yeah. ruckuses, and grums, and things like that. That is awesome. This is, and it, I've, 
that's got the extra padding in it. So it's very comfy ride. Well, this is perfect. Thank you for being a part of our show. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Tell the people your name and where you're from. Oh, my name is Young. I'm from Brookings. And ramen, G for Gram and ramen, my love of ramen noodles. <laughs> Winner! And on that, try to beat that story. <laughs> Mr. Brookings, how are you? Now what are you going to do? You're going to strap that thing down in that Target, you know, bag so you can get it home. Okay, so if you see this guy on the way to back to Brookings, just get out of the way. He's just trying to get his trophy home, okay? There you go. We're gramming around. Watch for him in Brookings. Thank you, Yang. Thank you very much. The next, the next class up is fairings with flare. As you know, we're the innovator, if you will, of the flare windshield since we did that Discovery Channel thing back in 2006. And we just love fairings. We love people who put fairings on bikes and there's a ton of them here, all the way down the line to the original Tour Glide, to a Victory Cross Country Magnum, um, to Road Glides and Dynas and FXRs and it's awesome. The winner this year is number 34, Jim Buckley. Oh, there he is, come on over, Jim. It looks like either Jim bought the windshield and painted it to match, or we got lucky. I couldn't believe it when I walked up this morning and saw it sitting here, and I came up with my son, and that's a whole lot of gray paint for one. And uh, when did you get the windshield? Last night. Last night? Last night. They put it on right over here. <laughs> nice. Well, it looks like it was meant to be. Yeah. 180 front tire. What year's the bike? Tell me a little something about it and who painted it. That thing looks like it goes on for miles. It's 2021. Uh, I had a lot of it done down at uh, Pico's. Uh, Travis Peliquin painted it. Okay. So it turned out pretty good, I think. Yeah, no, it did great. Give him a nice round of applause. That is a lot of grape, and Travis killed it. And that thing looks gnarly from the front. It's awesome. So thank you very much. I appreciate you. Next up is Miles and Smiles. And really, this was just about finding a bike that's got a lot of miles on it. Somebody traveled here a long ways. Somebody just put a real forth an effort to get here. He came all the way from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, guys. This is Justin Patterson at Squire Skinny Kid, right? Yes. And is it underscore anything? No. Just follow him on Instagram. <laughs> He's everywhere. The thing about this guy is he messes with them, he rides them, he takes them places. And so he's in here at the very first ever Shineworks Showdown. I'm building Jack Daniels Indians. This is his Jack Daniels Harley. Walk me through some of your favorite parts of this thing, because even as I'm standing here, I didn't even realize <laughs> he's got the coolest little sublimated Clockworks logo on his tank, but he's got a 100,000 mile pin rocker from Harley already. Is that for this bike? No, that was for the Packer bike. The Packer bike, yeah. okay. I feel bad because I'm, I'm standing on the Holy Grail in the Jack Daniels <laughs> rug here. I just want to lay down and take a nap. You even made a custom tank bed, so just walk me through it. When I, when I wrecked the Packer's bike, I had to try to come up with something different. And I mean, being a fan yeah. of yours, being a fan of uh, Jack Daniels, I was just like, all right, I got to do something to try to stand out, but not stand out. Yeah. So something subtle, but well, got noticed. Well, you're going from green and yellow to this. I mean, <laughs> exactly. quite a difference, but I mean, it's still just a statement bike, you know? So I'm assuming you use this hashtag, Whiskey Shark. Yes. This is a shark nose fairing. This is the Whiskey Shark. He's got our trim on here, 12 inch pro touring windshield. And look at this, packed a 180 front tire on this thing. Whose wheel is this or whose kit? That's the native pit bull front end. Okay. And I'm assuming these are not reflectors, these are lights. Yeah. Those are lights. And yeah, purple juice. You cannot walk in the middle when we're filming. <laughs> yeah, you can have whatever you want. Here. And then is this on air ride? Yes. Front this thing back. is that down on the ground, okay? Front and rear air ride. Okay, what else have you done? I've got zeros and custom dynamics all over the bike. This I've got is NAMS. NAMS headlight. So like, okay, this is like a who's who of motorcycle aftermarket parts <laughs> companies. The Tennessee Squire Association. Explain that to people. They don't even know what that is. So it's kind of like the inner circle of Jack Daniels. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> it is the inner circle of Jack Daniels. Back when, back when Frank Sinatra made Jack so popular, they had to come up with something to keep people interested in the brand. And so they came up with the Tennessee Squire Association. So it's, it's kind of a marketing thing. But if you get but nominated by someone else, because it, you it's love a badge Jack, of honor, right? It's, it's a badge of and, honor. And so now he owns one square inch of land in Lynchburg, Tennessee. That also entitles him to go into the Squire house when he gets down there. He gets a little special gift. 
And I recently saw you went to the Y Uter or some party or yeah, something. Yeah, I, go, I go to the Y Uter every year. That's in okay. end of April every year. Wait, wait, so. wait. We're going to try to ask him to explain what is a Y Uter. <laughs> The Wyuta, it's kind of like a, the Tennessee Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> it's Jack Daniels Sasquatch for sure. <laughs> it's, the, it's the best private party that Jack Daniels puts on. It's 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 awesome. It's, it's and they, they just treat you good, event. right? I mean, they're good people. But you've got our clip hangers on here. You got a custom saddleman seat, a matching backrest. The seat looks like it's heated. Yep. You got Jack Daniels Derby covers, and. And this is not a trailer queen. I mean, you're using <laughs> nope, this thing, right? Exactly. So follow at Squire Skinny Kid. Just look for the jack and look for the gray and the black. Simple as that, right? Appreciate you. Justin Patterson, all the way from Milwaukee, here at the Shineworks Showdown. This is Miles and Smiles, baby, right here. <laughs> all right, next up is Tolo Champ. And the Tolo bike thing um, is, that, that orange bike right there is my wife's bike. That's not in the show, it's just there to kind of show you what the, the idea is. And that is a huge trend out in California and now kind of all over the nation. And we sell a lot of those soft tail fenders. It's become a huge deal. And we had two great candidates in here this time for Cholo Champ, and it was this blue heritage soft tail with the thick spoke wheels and the and the and what looks to me like Carlini bars on it, which are super rare and they're super cool. And then this one down here, which has the beach bars, and you either run beach bars this one, where you run the eight fingers like that one, and the wind goes to number 46, Brandon Albers. So what year's your bike? It's 2001, here it is, bring a soft tail, inject it. Yeah. Okay, where do you find all those chrome accessories? Um, like some of that stuff, I know those barbells on the top of the, the top of the fender, the the towel rack or whatever they call that on the back. Okay. That stuff's hard to come by now. The bike had most everything on it when I bought it. It had the fender rails, had the cabbage cutter on it. Um, I called up Luke down in Texas at the Beekla shop in Dallas Fort Worth, and then he did the wheels, uh, the DNA wheels, and then I ordered the Samson head pipes with the crossover, and then we did the Steady Customs 39-inch uh, straight pipes with the 60-degree slashes on them. Uh, we did the shotgun rear air ride on it, the burly bars or the wild one chubbies on it, and then I ordered the Carlini risers. And that's a factory color, that's incredible. Yeah, that's a factory one year color, it's a 2001. That was like one of 400 doing a fuel injected like that. Awesome, give a nice round of applause. Thank you so much for bringing it out. Next class we have is Classic Fantastic. This was 1985 or older bikes. 1985 and older bikes are reasonable, they're fun, and they're a hoot to just mess with, ride, and, and customize. Number 25, Josh Martis is the winner. Josh Martis, number 25. Josh isn't here, so if someone wants to be Josh, we'll take your picture. Okay, hold on. The next one up is Ace of Shades. This is kind of a big deal because Ace of Shades is a brand new paint company. It's got started by some guys who started House of Colors Paint, and um, they're going for it. They are. They've been at SEMA, they've been at Pomona, I see them at all the shows. Um, they're, they're just being super aggressive. And so for them to come alongside Supermoto Fest and sponsor this award was super cool of them. And so we need to get your name. Uh, if it's you, you on the bike and your painter, uh, we want your names because we want to get you some Ace of Shades gear. We got a little gift pack from them that's coming as well. The award goes to number one, Daniel Crawford. Ace of Shades Paint Award, Daniel Crawford, number one. Oh, of course, it's Daniel Crawford. When I rolled up here today, I said, how many hours in that paint? Your painter kind of looked at me sheepishly, like I'm not even gonna tell you, and you told me it's probably a thousand. That thing is crazy, but the best story about that thing is if it could make your wife happy. What didn't make your wife happy? Tell me this. Alfred was not on the bike. <laughs> so we had to put out, we've redone some of the paint, what, three or four times, and this last go around, we got new side panels and made sure that Alfred and his Rolls Royce was painted on it. So Alfred's on the side covers. Mama's happy, everybody's happy. Congratulations, Ace of Shades paint. Unbelievable. What made you want to do that paint job and that theme in the first place? Uh, I've always been known as Batman. My kids okay. have called me that since they were kids. And um, when I bought the bike in uh, 2018, it was sitting on the showroom and I knew exactly what I was going to do with it. So. 
Well, it's absolutely incredible. I can't imagine paint, painting one thing over on that, let alone doing it three or four times, but truly a work of art. Congratulations. So Ace of Shades, you're the guys. Thank you. And, and the final award come to me because my friend Chris from Cycle Source Magazine is the, one of the last standing still owned by the original owner, original founder of magazines that there is in this whole industry. And I want you guys to know he's now a proud South Dakotan. He lives in Mitchell, South Dakota. He moved here from Pittsburgh after being in the same house for 54 years. The house he grew up in, the house he was born in, he moved, came to Mitchell, and now Cycle Source Magazine and Grease and Gears TV is part of the Clockworks campus over in Mitchell. So please come visit them, watch their show Shop Talk on Sunday nights. This bike that won the best of show gets a feature in Cycle Source Magazine. It's gonna get a Grease and Gears TV spot. And we are super excited to just continue to make this show better and better by bringing along such an incredible source media partner as Chris and Heather Callen. And the winner is, man, they ruined your name, Todd. Todd what? Bobby. Red. Red. Oh my God, nice. Congratulations. I want to know the story behind this bike, so you better start thinking. Because, first of all, you've got Harley Davidson stuff on there. You've got a backrest that is brown and looks like it's stamped, so that means it's probably an original part. You've got John Wayne on there. You've got some cool gold eagle things that are probably from the 80s or the 70s, and now they match all the bolts. You painted the frame. Nobody paints a frame on one of those. What the heck are you thinking? I got a hold of the guy, his family used to be the OEM supplier to Harley Davidson oh, no way. back in the day. And he custom made these bags and a set of black ones, and then he still had the stamp. So he could do so it. So he stamped them for me. Incredible. Yeah. You, nobody's going to know if you built that thing in 1978, 1985, 1995, or last week, Tuesday, but it's an incredible tribute to Harley Davidson and just people like you who know the history of it and started somewhere and went, okay, this is my dream though, I wanna make this, so congratulations. Oh, thank you very much. What year is it your most? It's a 1977. So can you tell me your name um, and your phone number so I can call you and get some, some information? Yeah. Yes, I can. My name is Todd Lobby, but everybody forever and ever has just called me Red. And my phone number is... Say, perfect, Todd. We're going to have you come to the perfect. studio and we want to shoot your motorcycle. I want to shoot your motorcycle. Well, great. I look forward to that. Are you going to be there? Yeah. Okay, cool. Say, That'll be great. Say, I'll, say, I'll show you my motorcycles. I'll show you my motorcycles. And what else do you have? What kind of car do you have? I have 51 Mercury. That is way cool. <laughs> and... And a 57 Chevy. And a 57 Chevy. Wow. And, a, and an FXR. You'll an never FXR. get out of junior high without being a dad. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I say, hey, can you give him knucks and say, I love your bike, bro? I love your bike. Well, thank you. Bro. Thank you very much. Well, shoot your bike off. Good job, buddy. Nice job. You're a rock star. Absolutely. Just turn four. Thanks for coming, bro.